Hey everyone, Tim from Top Hat and Ears is here. And a lot of y'all have been asking in our comments recently, why does Dad sound like an actor? And more of y'all have also been wondering, why does Dad wear this hat so much in a lot of his videos? Especially at the beginning of Gabriel's funeral video. Well, if you'd like to find out the answer to those questions, Please stay tuned and stick around for today's episode of Top Hat and Ears. I want to thank each and every one of y'all for watching our videos. We are hoping that y'all are having a great, blessed, and magical day. Now to answer those questions that you have asked. Number one, why does Dad sound like an actor? Well, the reason why Dad sounds like an actor is because I am a background actor. I have worked in a bunch of films in the past. I'm going to head over to IMDb right now, where I will share with you what I have been in and go over where the roles are and stuff like that. So, I'm going over to IMDb right now, looking up myself, and it may take a little while to load. While it loads, I do want to let you know that uh, the first movie that I did work on was a WWE film. It was entitled Legendary. It was a John Cena film where he played a brother of this little boy who's a high school uh, person who played wrestling. He wanted to be like his brother. Now, uh, in that scene, I was a... Uh, what do you call it? A wrestling fan, high school, watching the show. You know, I was a wrestling fan. I was also a background extra, sorry, a background stand-in for a character, I don't know what character name is show, but he's played by Teo Alvarez, who is more known as Michael Cooney from the Nickelodeon show Ned's Classified School Survival Guide. A few of the other films that I have been on was so undercover with Miley Cyrus and Kelly Osbourne. Unfortunately, my scenes in that were cut that I helped with. I was a stand-in for a 12-year-old boy. So you see on see on camera for the movie uh, Home Sweet Hell, which was first known as North of Hell with Captain Heigl. It was for a boy named Owen Bourgeois, a 12-year-old boy. Since we matched heights, they used me. In the movie The Camp, I was a member of the Snake Church uh, congregation. That's the scene where, that's, well, first of all, it's the movie with Jason Zekas, and he was helping Will Ferrell candidate against Zach Galifianakis, if I his name right, uh, on a campaign to see who would win the election that they were doing. Well, in the Snake Church scene, uh, Will Ferrell goes in there, and we're all dancing in the background. I'm on the left side. He gets bitten by a snake like right here in his arm and starts hallucinating, and people start laughing. Towards the end of that scene, he runs to the side. He jumps over, well, through, I should say, a stained glass. And if you look closely, you'll see me in a like, brownish kind of sweater vest and fake glasses on and my hair kind of similar to as you see it right now. Now, going to other ones, I was in the movie Now You See Me. That was the magician movie heist film starring Mark Ruffalo, uh, Woody Harrelson, Melanie Laurent, uh, Laurent, how do you pronounce it? Isla Fisher, Dave Franco, Jesse Eisenberg, uh, I don't know if that Morgan Freeman, who was in there as well, Michael Caine, <laughs> can't forget about him. Among a few other people as well. Well, in that particular film, I was not only a college kid at a magic show. So, if you saw the episode at the very, well, the part of the movie at the very beginning, where Isla Fisher did the dunk tank, if you look to the very, very edge of my pants on the right, you only see the tip of my fingers. Really, not much more right there. I mean, sometimes in the back of an extra, you see your whole body, sometimes you don't see any of you. If you remember the scene where they're at the MGM Grand, and they're pulling these magic balls out to select the person from the audience. They pulled a guy named Etienne. Well, in that scene after he was pulled, he put in his headgear and he went to the teleportation chamber where he went into his French bank, technically robbed the bank, and the money showered throughout MGM. 
Great for all the audience to get. Now, I wasn't in that scene. But if you look at the scene shortly after that, where Etienne gets, uh, what do you call it? Interrogated, I think by Mark Ruffalo, and Melanie is not a character. Uh, they talk to him, and they say the key word, but they say this is a bunch of BS. Uh, Jose's character, at the end, jumps on the table and starts playing the violin like this. When they show from the top of his chest to his head, that is the actor, Jose Garcia, doing the character. Now, when he'll go from the chest all the way down to the feet on the table, as well as when Mark Ruffalo and Melanie are leaving the room, you see a blurred image of a guy on the table. Look carefully, it's slightly different than what Etienne looked like. Reason being is, that's my whole body from top to bottom on top of that table. Photo doubling for Etienne. I've also been in a few episodes of NCIS New Orleans. Treme. <clears throat> I was in a movie, Now You See Me, starring uh, Rose Blanchard from Disney's Girl Meets World. Also stars Karen Barrar, who I was a photo double for for a couple days. He was best known in Disney as Ravi on the show Jesse, starring Demi Ryan as well. Now, in that movie, during the high school scenes, look carefully at the beginning where they're entering the school in some of the hallway shots. Look for a guy who's wearing like a green chef outfit, the top and the bottom of green. He's got white sleeves and like a little like if you want to call it Italian style colored uh, cuffs on the sleeves. I also have a white hat on with a W on there. That is me in that movie. Now, if you look towards the end of the movie where there is a Halloween costume party, they said they saw the costume of me and the chef too much. So it made a Victorian style, uh, what do you call it? Doctor's mask, if you want to call it the way. At least that's how they described it to me. It's kind of a mask you put over your face with a big old long nose on your head. Well, you can't see me because you're trying to cover my face. Uh, but that mask I'm wearing, and you can see that mask during the haunted house scene. We go through like three different rooms, and they have a table with all these like cool looking characters right there staring at the camera. Well, in the last room they go to, uh, I think that was the scene with the little psychic seance kind of thing they were doing in the haunted house. You see people walk past the back door. Look for the guy like that with the uh, long looking big nose and that the mask like that, the Victorian style, they call it a doctor outfit. I'm actually behind that mask right there. Now, I will give you a little heads up. There are a couple of uh, things that I'm working on right now. Uh, roughly about four things I'm working on right now. I cannot talk about any of those right now. Uh, I will say that one of them is going to be on local TV. The other three, if I remember correctly, are either going to be on Hulu or Netflix. I'm not sure which one. And I don't know if I can say right now what they are that I'm doing. But I've been at least uh, five days on one of those. And I heard on at least three of those four, you'll be able to see me pretty well, what I was told in the scenes I was part of. So... Once I get the okay after they've been put to video, whether Netflix, Hulu, regular TV, DVD, Blu-ray, and I get the okay, I'll come back and let y'all know exactly where I'm at. So y'all can see me when y'all watch that and find out exactly where I am at. So, if you have any comments regarding me being a background extra and seeing why I sound like an actor so much, not only the fact that I do multiple takes while I'm doing this camera stuff as well. Leave a comment below regarding that. Now, I do want to mention that if you like the videos that you're seeing, please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to see a lot more video content regarding Gabriel, Hydrocephalus Awareness, Disney, and our family life by hitting that subscribe button and that bell notification so you can be notified when our new videos come out. Now, that being done, I want to get over to the question I'm asked even more. Why do I wear this hat right here? As you see, this right here 
is a top hat with ears. If you're a subscriber to our channel or you just come to this channel, please be sure to look at every one of our videos at the bottom right hand corner, slightly where the time progression bar is and the time is. You will see a little symbol. It's a top hat with the word subscriber under it. I actually went in uh, with that GIMP, kind of like a Photoshop editor. After I made a picture of this hat right here, I cut it out of the picture and I put it under the subscriber logo. So that's where this logo came from, this hat right here. Also, our channel is named Top Hat and Ears. This references the hat right here, the top hat and the ears. Now, we originally called uh, Tim and Sarah, but we changed that after we found out that another YouTube channel was named the same thing. So, to not confuse people and to allow them to keep that channel name, we decided to change our channel. And we go in more detail on changing the name from one to the other. On the video where we went to Disney with my sister Paige, remember correctly, it's that one. My, I was there, my wife Sarah, our kids Sean and Izzy, and my and Sarah's niece Madison was there as well. And I will put a link up here to that video if I can find it. So you can see where I kind of talk about it. It's kind of at the beginning of the video where we're going to our first day on our trip to Disney World. We're actually in the airport when I'm quickly, quickly talking about that part. So hopefully you can see that as well in that video. Now, why don't I wear it in Gabriel's video? A lot of people ask me. Here's the reason why I wear it in Gabriel's video. Now, in Gabriel's life, we tried with Grant Wish to get Disney to, to get, sorry, Gabriel to Disney. Not Disney to Gabriel, Gabriel to Disney. Grand Wish approved us of getting Gabriel to Disney. Only if the hospice people would approve of it. But the hospice people couldn't approve of it because they felt Gabriel was going to go before to heaven before he would make it to Disney. You see, we were going to go to Disney on Gabriel's birthday as the trip. But Gabriel passed away before then. So our family, we went as a family trip to Disney World to celebrate uh, Gabriel's wife now that he was an angel from heaven. So we went physically on earth and he went to Disney with us from heaven. Now, in that video, you see me wearing this hat, representing our, you know, what we did in order to get Gabriel to Disney. Also, this hat right here is the link of our channel. Not only is it the name of our channel, not only is it the logo of our channel, it is the link between our Disney side of the channel, as well as the side of our channel of Gabriel's hydrocephalus journey and our hydrocephalus awareness, our personal life. So, as you know, our channel is about Gabriel, hydrocephalus awareness, our personal family life, and our love of Disney. And this hat right here became the name of our channel and the logo of our subscribe link. And in many of our videos, to represent the combination of everything that we do in our video. Now, you may still understand, you may have more questions about it. You may not like how I commented regarding it. That's fine. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of this hat right here now. Also, of me being a background actor, or extra as they call them, in locally filmed movies. Now, I want to thank each and every one of y'all, not only for watching today's video, but for watching the past video that we did, uh, where we went ahead and showed y'all who the winner was of our 500 giveaway prize of the Disney Thompson and Katie Dumbo Puzzle, the Mini Dumbo Zoom Zoom, and the $25 Disney gift card. I do want to let y'all know that once we hit 1,000 subscribers, to be on the lookout for a very special video. In that video, we will be talking about how we will give y'all a brand new way to contact us if you would like. There are some people out there who go ahead and use Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram, and Snapchat to let you contact us. Now, Top Hat Years, we do have a Twitter, and we have an Instagram account as well as our YouTube account that you're watching right now. And we want to thank you all again for watching. 
So be sure to go to any one of those medias and, you know, follow us there as well. But we are going to have a brand new way. Yes, a lot of people do this. We like to do it as well for y'all to contact us. So we will let y'all know what that is on our 1,000 subscriber special video. So I am hoping that each and every one of y'all enjoyed today's content. If you did again, leave that thumbs up button, press that. Leave a comment below letting us know. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you haven't already, hit that bell notification on the side so that y'all can be notified on every one of our future videos. Now, as you've seen, we do Monday for uh, one week on Disney. And on Thursday of the following week, we're going to do our family, Gabriel, Hide Yourself with Samaritan Style videos. Now, every so often, we'll be doing a live feed, either on Mondays or sometime on the weekend. If we decide to do one, we will put an announcement out, either on a previous video on YouTube, but more than likely on our Twitter account, or on our Instagram account. So please be sure to follow us there, so that you can find out when we are going live, just like we went live on our giveaway video. So, again... This is Tim from Top Hat and Ears, and I am hoping that each and every one of y'all are having a great, magical day. May God bless you and your family, and we over at Top Hat and Ears will see each and every one of y'all on a future video. Bye!